happy Gigi is a not broke Gigi. Did I say that right? everybody my name is Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today I have another snack box unboxing for you and we go back to one of our old old standbys here. It's Snack Fever. This is the deluxe box. The reason why the box is blue is because this is the Vicky binge box. This is a special edition, not really because it came to all the subscribers, but it was special editions and they partnered with Vicky for this box. If you don't know what it is, it is a streaming service that specializes in Asian drama. Um, so this time I don't have a K-drama of the month for you. I have a J-drama of the month, mainly because I didn't watch any K-dramas and I have been watching this J-drama and it's really great. Um, I wasn't going to order this box. In fact, I actually skipped the month. I emailed them and I was like, I think I kind of want this box now. And so they were like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. And they were like, put me back on for this box. So I'm starving. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what time it is, but I'm on a diet and I'm breaking it to whatever's in this box. So I will put everything you need to get a snack for your box of your own down in the comments below. I'll find you a coupon. And if you use the link that is down there, it actually helps me out because it's my referral link. And everybody knows a happy Gigi is a not broke Gigi. Did I say that right? Everybody knows a broke Gigi is an unhappy Gigi. So let's get our unboxing on. Oh, by the way, Snack Fever has started shipping its boxes in a brown box to cover this, which I highly appreciate because it gives you an extra level of security. And you know, nobody's gonna steal your shit because if a thing is brightly colored, people wanna take it. So here's what's inside the box when you open it. I have a feeling it's paper. Okay, ooh, and a card. Um, so Snack Fever comes with a little pamphlet. It tells you everything that's inside. It says your Vicky binge box is here, woohoo! And there's a mini, a deluxe, or a mini, there's a mini, an original, and a deluxe box. The deluxe box is on the back. I will be referring back to this card to tell you what everything is that I'm eating or avoiding. <laughs> Um, and I forgot to tell you that these plans go from, I believe, like 15, 10 or $15 a month all the way up to 40 if the deluxe box is a monster. So let's get this started. I'm part of their group on Facebook and sometimes they post posts and they're like, if you're the first however many to comment, you get something cool in your box. I think this is what I got <laughs> for commenting. I'm not quite sure because I don't really remember what it was supposed to be, but it's a sticker sheet. <laughs> And I don't know who, who these actors are, but the other ones are really cute. So that's actually cool. I can put these on my packages I send out. We have Get Your Binge On With Vicky Pass. Ooh, enjoy one month free. Okay, I'm keeping this because I'm actually going to use it. Not in September because I have no time. Okay, so our Korean word of the month is Hyuga. It means vacation. Oh, that's cool. So this is what this card looks like. It's really actually really cute. Oh, geez. This is a card for Drama World on the one side and K-Movie recommendations from Team Snack Fever. I've heard of two of these. Maggie has picked 300 Pound Beauty, which I actually started watching and then I stopped. And then Min has picked Public Enemy, which for some reason I own. Um, but here's a thing for drama world. I don't know what that is. And then here's some K-drama recommendations for movies. I'd rather just watch the dramas. I'm not a really big fan of like movie stuff, but I'm hungry. Oh my God, we need to eat. <laughs> for all your drama feels. It's a pack of tissues. That is hysterical. That's hysterical. And we have a Vicky sticker. This is a really cute sticker. I don't know who packed my box this month. Maybe there's a card I'm missing. There probably is. Actually, a lot of this minus one thing looks to be new, which is good. So we'll start with this. This is a roasted rice snack. Comes in a bag that's not resealable. Roasted rice crackers, an old school Korean snack made from crunchy rice. That's all it's telling me it is. Okay. That's fine. These shouldn't be too terrible, right? <laughs> they look like um, Rice Krispie treats. They're crunchy, so they definitely don't have the same texture as Rice Krispie treats. And in a weird way, they kind of taste like it. It tastes like frosted Rice Krispie treats without being sticky from the marshmallow. At Anime Palooza, we like to rate things out of seven, and I'm gonna give this a solid five and a half out of seven. Next, we have these Chocoheim cookies which are like the little wafer cookies with the chocolate inside. I believe these are hazelnut flavored also. I've had these in a variety of ways. It says put in the note of heart. What the hell does that mean? Thankfully they're individually wrapped. 
I have had these, but not in chocolate form, so that's good. And it actually tells you how to unwrap them, which is always nice, and it's always fun to watch me fail. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get it wrong. Yeah, I've only had the vanilla ones of these, so these are new to me. And chocolate, nine times out of ten, I'm trying to do this without wrecking my nails, is better than vanilla. So this is what they look like. Delicious. Kind of dry, but so are all wafer cookies. These get a solid six out of seven. Chian Yeon Cider. You know what this looks like? This looks like the Kelpie logo. I hope it's not Kelpie. Let's find out. Oh, in a deluxe box, they usually give you two drinks. This is the way that it's going to be this time. A sweet cider with just a hint of cream soda flavor. It's refreshing and lively for a warm day. I didn't put this in the refrigerator. Um, probably do that right after I get done with this. Because I ordered Chinese food before I started filming. Kanpai, because I don't know how to say it in Korean. Oh my god. This is delicious. It's like... A not as sugary cream soda, which is good because it normally I think cream soda is a little too sweet. This is fantastic. I want a crate of it. Seven out of seven. Oh my god, this box is like destroyed. Choco Kit Panda, make your own chocolate. Do I have to make this? Okay, so this is like the Korean version of a DIY kit. My box is all fucked up. Look at that shit. Um, but basically, you squeeze the chocolate out of the tube onto these little panda cookies and then you make little sandwich cookies. I'm not going to do that just because it's going to be super messy and I don't really feel like dealing with that right now, but I'll throw it into my bag. Actually, you know what? I will I will do this DIY kit and I will eat it because it's fucking easy. So for being easy, I'm giving it a five out of seven. <laughs> These are the things that I've had multiple times before and I also don't like them. Um, they're honey butter, whatever this is going to be. Honey Tong Tong Corn Chip. Our favorite Tong Tong is back with a new take on the honey butter trend. It says this is a must try exclusive. I don't like honey butter. I just, I think it tastes weird. Oh my God, there's 27 grams of fat in this bag. 27 grams of fat, holy shit. Well, these are getting put in the block as soon as I'm done with this. Oh, they smell like honey butter. They feel like that corn puff texture. They look like mini Doritos. They taste like honey butter. Why do people like this? This is so gross. To me, honey butter tastes like sweet onions. I hate it. Ugh. Two out of seven. Oh, today's palette cleanser brought to you in my Hinkley and Schmidt bottle, because it was up here, is amazing cup rice with healthy veggie taste. So in lieu of ramen, we got cup rice. Um, I really hope there's not seaweed in here. It's got French directions on here. Okay, it says dried thistle sauce. Oh, it's got onions in it. Well, maybe I'll eat this. Maybe I can pick around the onions. I clearly can't make it right now, but it's like ramen. You put water in it. It's cup rice. It's cup rice that I'm throwing on the floor. Ah, uh, snack for you, don't disappoint. For our bag of hard candy, we have real candy orange, mixed fruit and milk. So this is in theory, gonna taste like a creamsicle, a dreamsicle, whatever. It says it's all natural though. Sometimes that's the kiss of death. There's something weird in this box. So it comes individually wrapped and these are flat as opposed to like the circular ones we normally get. Oh my God. Why is Korean hard candy the best hard candy in the history of life? This is straight up creamsicle. I kind of don't. I just want to eat this. I just want to suck on this. My camera battery is going to die, so I'm not going to do that. 7 out of 7. Yes. Oh, yes. This is what I saw in here, and I was like, what? It's a pack of Vicky stamped chopsticks. They're just like the real little wooden ones or whatever, but that's cool. I haven't gotten chopsticks in the Snack Fever box in a really long time. So that's a cool extra. Oh, why? Because they put a thing of ramen in here. This is BB Men Oriental Style Noodle. 8% more apple juice in the soup. Korean spice taste. Let me read about this because I don't know what's supposed to be in here. It's called BB Moon. A Korean classic for the summer. This soupless noodle dish still packs a spicy punch, so be sure to pair it with the Pororio seaweed or other non spicy banchan. Ew, did we get seaweed in here? 
I'll probably eat this. It doesn't say that there's um it doesn't say that there's fish in it, so I'll probably go eat it. Oh my god! I love these. I've gotten these before. Actually, not in a Korean box. I got these in a Japanese box. This is Pishu Pishu, which means like smash smash. And it's ramen, but it's not ramen you cook. You smash the bag and it's like baby star ramen. Oh my god. I love this shit. This shit is bulgogi flavor. I don't know what that means, but it's got to be good because I like it. So preemptively because I don't want to open it right now I'm gonna give it a six out of seven. Four more things in the box the second is or one of them is the second drink and this is called Pokari Sweat. I don't know what this is but I see it in a lot of anime so I want to say it's gonna be like Gatorade. It's a well-known Japanese drink. Well, okay okay <laughs> why are we putting Japanese stuff in a Korean box? I'm not complaining because I've actually wanted to try this but okay. Um, that Koreans love just as much. It's the Gatorade of Asia. Okay, Gatorade of Asia. Am I supposed to shake this? There's no guy on here telling you to shake it, so. It smells like, um, Sprite. It tastes like, it tastes like Gatorade. Like if Sprite were Gatorade without the carbonation, that's what this tastes like. It's kind of gross, but I, it's all right. Four out of seven. Is this, oh no, these are gummies. I was like, is this this dumbass cereal shit we've had a million times? No, these are gummies. These are, they are king size gummy worms. Who knew worms could taste so fruity and delectable? Each bag contains one wang sized <laughs> king jelly worm. Okay. Well, if it's wang size. This is like a heavy bag too, so I'm a little concerned right now. Oh, no, these are little tiny worms. They're just... Wait, maybe there's one hidden in there. I don't like it. Oh yeah, here it is. That one was kind of gross. <laughs> The big wang size worm. <laughs> this is real gross. <laughs> it looks so gross. But I hope it tastes like Coke. It does. It's delicious. The first one was gross, but the Coke one makes it better. So instead of giving it a 7 out of 7, I'll give it a 6. But it's so good. Hey, you know when I was talking about Bukhari Seaweed and I was like, wow, I hope they don't put that in here. They disguised it. They disguised it in a package full of fucking penguins and a little fox. As much as I would like to pretend like I'm in First Love Monster and give my seaweed to Kanade right now, or actually be like Kanade and try it, it's not gonna happen. Hell to the no. And the last thing in here is a bag of soy chips, which look like sun chips. So hopefully they won't taste like shit, because I like sun chips. They're little, they look like Triscuits actually. They're pretty good. Kinda tastes like Triscuits, except a little bit sweeter five and a half out of seven. Okay, so I just read the other ones, the other box descriptions, and I think next month, well, I already paid for it, but the month after that, I'm gonna switch back to the original box because I realize for twice the price, I'm just getting stuff that I don't eat in here, and as much as I would love to have a box full of hard candy, it's just not worth it for the price, so somebody remind me to do that. That was everything for the box, but I want to tell you about my J-drama of the month. It's Good Morning Call, and I've been watching it on Netflix. Good Morning Call is based on a manga that was written in the 90s. It is shoujo trash to the extreme. It is super freaking cute. It's about a girl who accidentally moves in with this guy, kind of Nana style, where they both ended up renting the apartment and they don't want to, either one of them wants to move, so they decide to share it. It's basically about them living together and trying to get through high school. He's super popular. She kind of gets bullied a lot. They have like a fake relationship. It's really cute. Um, I'm up to episode seven right now and it is like really over the top drama-y. So if you like that kind of shit, you'll like Good Morning Call, but it's not as much drama. It is a romantic comedy. It is pretty cute. No one has made out yet. Waiting. Waiting. It's episode seven. Somebody please make out. So yeah, if you want to watch it, it's on Netflix. It is Japanese and subtitle only, but it is worth the watch. I really like it. And that was everything for the Snack Fever collaboration with Vicky Deluxe Box Unboxing. 
Um, this box is definitely leagues better than the first anniversary box. It did have some repeats, but they're repeats that I actually enjoyed, so it's okay. I'll probably enjoy this box more than I will any other box that I actually that I have in a long time from Snack Fever, so I'm glad I went back and got it. Plus, I get a free month of Vicky, so I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, I will be getting the deluxe box for September because I've already paid for it. But who knows after that? I think we're going to downgrade to the original because there's just more stuff that I would need in the original as, com as compared to the deluxe box. So let me know your thoughts about this box for this video down in the down bar below. What's your favorite J-drama? Let me know because now I'm on a J-drama kick. I know I gotta watch Liar Game. Boys Over Flowers. Is that a J-drama? No, that's K-drama. I don't know. Anyway, let me know your favorite J-drama. And we'll have our little party! As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my anime list. My username is Palooza, Apple Places. And until next time, love your faces!